Okay, so let's add a half paste. Quite hard to tell really. Um, and uh, you know, in terms of my palette, sorry, I don't know if this is what Bougero used, but I'm going to get pretty close to it. So I'd say, you know, you can use whatever kind of palette you want. I've got lemon yellow, Indian yellow, orange, red, lizard and crimson, ultramarine blue, sap green, raw umbra and ivory black, a little bit of white. Uh, so here I'm just going to add a bit of lemon yellow. This is quite opaque. It's just got that kind of quality. I reckon he might have used this. It's like this or maybe it's like Naples yellow. It's got to have a bit more red in it. Gosh. Okay, well, yeah, so I can just do it for this bit now. Just using it to correct the drawing. Okay, now a bit of white with the same mix. That's quite close, maybe. Let's see. So the way to avoid the flatness that this uh, kind of has, has created is, you know, with the glaze over the top. I can blend these in, maybe it's just between the two. Hopefully you can get that, you can see what I'm doing. Hopefully my nose isn't in the way. Alright, so just seeing that was wrong. So I'll blend all of that in in a bit. Trying to draw it a bit if I can. Um, right, so a lot more white now. I think this lemon yellow is doing quite well. White and lemon yellow. It's too, too light. So, going back to the original mix. So it's just always back and forth, you know. Um, it was maybe just in the shadow areas, maybe. I, my tendency is to do it too light, possibly, but you know, it was going too dark, so, but I'll just use the half paste just to model again. You can just see, you know, into the form. So you can see how he's done it to create, it's the shape of the face, you know, there's just a little bump here, and like just the chin is just picking up the light as it sticks out just ever so slightly. 
is the lightest bit of that. I've just got oh, this just some I picked up some dust. Gosh. So again just yellow um lemon yellow and a bit of red. Avoid, you know, still looks quite chalky there suddenly. So, more red, more lemon yellow. If it is chalky at this stage, then you know, I'll just cure it with, a, with another glaze. But yeah, I was quite actually I'm quite pleased with that um this highlight. It just feels about right. Now, let's try something. I'm just going to, um, yeah, so the original paint, the 
blocking in that I did, you know, if I just pick up, I'm just picking it up with my finger through there, and that is actually going to work quite well as a. Whoops, gosh. It's going to work quite well as a highlight. So I'm doing a demonstration and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm ploughing through it, but, you know, I always say you can just spend as long as you want doing it, modelling these. This is all quite, it's quite dark, yeah. And I suppose with the glazing, you don't want to get it um, you know, uh, too impasto, so it starts to sort of pick up, and you've got these little grooves of where the sort of the actual the fibres of the hair drag through the paint. So it's trying to avoid that. So th hence, doing it thinly, waiting for it to dry, going over it again. You know, I'm sure. It's not too, as you can see, it's not too many times. This is the first glaze, you know, over blocking in. You can do it with the grisaille, but you know, because it's got the colour underneath, I think that really helps. And that effectively is like a, um, a first glaze, really, the initial colour. It's all just, it's not warm enough. This is red. Red there, and then actually, I'm going to try. So, rather than sometimes I just sort of mix on the, the actual canvas itself, so I'm mixing onto the palette now. I've just mixed into that initial glaze. So this is my highlight brush. Yeah, I'm probably, it's probably going to be too light, but I'm just going to go in just a little bit because actually, just behind her, I just noticed behind her ear, so the drawing's not quite right, but yeah, something sort of helps a bit, maybe. So now I've ruined that highlight brush, I have to get another one. It's a low light now. So now we're talking white, yellow ochre, red. You know, all of these other colours are sort of there in a, as a contingency, but I don't really need them. I'm probably not going to use them at all. My palette's becoming more and more limited these days. After I did a um, copy of a Velasquez, I realised that you know, you can just work with a Zorn palette, it's absolutely fine. I, you know, it's not Zorn's invention necessarily, but he just made a thing out of it. Uh, it might be his invention actually, but you know, point, the point is that Velasquez and people like that and Caravaggio were working, you know, with very, very similar limited palettes, you know, way back, way before that. Um sure he didn't just name it and this is the Zorn palette as other people called it that but anyway the thing is just um, vermilion yellow ochre white uh, burnt umber or raw umber and black that's that's all you need actually I think having said that here we are with a lovely blue sky which will be tricky but anyway the point is, it's just nice, it feels nice to work with a limited palette. So again, that's just getting too light, too much white.
So actually I think that that is all I'm going to do on this glaze. And yeah, I think that just really, really helped it as a painting. And so what I'll do, yeah, next time I'll just uh, I'll show a second glaze, which is essentially just going to be a repeat of this process. Uh, I suppose I, you know I don't have the um, the patience or the technical you know, ability of Bougereau, so I'm not spending that long. But I just want it to be a demonstration to just debunk all of the myths around it. That you know this isn't it's not actually as tricky as I initially thought and maybe therefore not for other people too so you know I really hope it's useful so I keep seeing things that now I want to change I'm getting later and later for picking my daughter up from school Gotta go. Oh dear, I tell you, I'm so sorry about this dust. Maybe you can't see it. Okay, so I'm going to leave it there for now. We'll come back next time and just see if we can make it even better. Not that it's good. Okay, one more thing. That's quite a pronounced line there, so I'm going to have to change that. I did that with a block in and that's not good. One more thing, one more thing. It's too much. Okay, last, 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 last thing. Thank you, I'll see you in the next video.